Hello artists, I'm Thomas and welcome back to another video. So last year I did a video just regarding my rejection that I had at the RCA and for some reason it did pretty good, picked up quite a few views. I became a meme and um, actually it put me in touch with quite a few RCA students who ended up messaging me from different pathways. So I had some kind of context and communication there, some advice for those who had applied and just got in, some advice from those who were already in. So uh, it was great to kind of create that dialogue from a rejection video. But having this now, I guess, communication through direct messaging and also being aware of kind of comments in the community on uh, Instagram amongst different kind of artistic institutions, um, I've also become aware of, I guess, some of the realities and the sad realities that the, um, I guess, the pandemic has caused uh, amongst uh, different educational institutions. So just to draw the line here, I am no drama channel. I'm not going to go slating the RCA or slating University of the Arts London or anything. Um, obviously, I'm very kind of blunt when it comes to uh, certain topics and my kind of opinions on educational, what is valuable, what isn't so valuable. But um, today I'm basically just going to talk about what the reality, um, what the kind of reality I've been fed through some students who are in the RCA, also what the reality is in some cases. And also, I'm also going to go over a little bit of my work, which I was planning on building an RCA portfolio with, but I've actually decided I'm not going to apply this year um, on the basis of a few things, but mainly it's not even all of that. It's just that I don't feel like um, I'm, I'm ready de ready enough to put a mature application through this year in a similar way to I was in a similar position to what I was last year, basically. So stick around if you want to see my work or just skip via the, um, the timeline uh, on the video bar or whatever. So obviously when you're applying and uh, wanting to be educated at an institution like the Royal College of Arts, most of the experience you're looking for is obviously part of a kind of environmental experience where you're obviously in the one of the top edu educational institutions in the world. You have access to amazing resources, equipment, studio spaces, obviously face-to-face -face tutor time and so on, and obviously interacting with your peers, which you also learn a huge amount from. So obviously for this experience, you're looking at a premium price and home students pay about 10,000 per year Whereas international students, you're looking at about 29,000 per year. And this is Great British Pound, not dollars. So obviously along came the pandemic. We can all point fingers at whose fault it was, but the, regardless of how many fingers you point, the reality is here. It has caused problems. There is lockdown. Uh, people obviously cannot use the studio space or the physical institution um <clears throat> to study so what i've become aware of now is kind of going into the new year after experiencing the first term there are many many students who are extremely frustrated and obviously saddened at their situation the reality is obviously can you imagine being an international student you know having to now stay home because of obviously travel restrictions and on top of that, probably their parents not wanting them to be in a place like the UK, which is probably one of the highest risk places when it comes to the planet right now, when it comes to the uh, pandemic. So if you're looking at even the fees for one year, which is obviously 29,000 pounds, from that being maybe a very kind of nourishing experience at uh, obviously the RCA campus and having access to all, this, all of this equipment and a physical studio space to working versus being overseas stuck at home possibly in a family household and having, you know, maybe five, six, seven Zoom sessions or calls a week for 29,000 pounds, I can, I can obviously uh, empathize with the uh, student's frustration. I've also seen frustration from University of the Arts London students. Um, I've had a couple messages and seen comments online. Um, I, think, I think one of the things that students um, are obviously sad about is that there, has, there hasn't really been any changing in fees. And I understand that some colleges have offered some discounts on the fees as in they've, they've taken back. Um, but I think the main thing is kind of communication. One of the things I feel like uh, about the UK is that regardless of what area or subject 
education outside of education not a lot of things move very fast in the uk so um i think i don't know the reality of many universities is just everything's going up in flames and they have no idea how to handle the situation and then they're they're obviously not very open about that maybe chaos that is going on and then miscommunication to students they're paying obviously ridiculously expensive fees feeling like they're obviously not getting the quality of education that they paid for so therefore anger and frustration everywhere which is understandable i would um i would i would honestly hate to be a student in the same situation so i guess the negative reality of what is life right now pushed aside um i'm not going to be applying this year not just on the basis of that but i'm kind of caught up in my own goals and side projects at the moment which are not because you have to i think invest a lot of time really to uh succeed in such as building a portfolio for the RCA so i'd like to do it properly and document it properly rather than just have a half a guy if that makes sense um so rest assured i will have i will try to obviously prepare a portfolio for the early applications this time come september and maybe from the start i can really do a documentation and stuff because around the application time this year was when i was packing everything and moving from china back to the uk so it was it was not a good time for me to be documenting and creating a portfolio if there are any rca students watching this uh, please communicate any frustrations or i guess stories you'd like to below i don't know maybe the comment section can be some kind of a release for your some of your frustrations for now let's have a look at some of the paintings that uh, i was going to probably put in my RCA portfolio this year. So just a quick introduction for anyone who does not know my work. I basically have digital plans beforehand where I kind of uh, create painterly compositions. I'm an oil painter that then become oil paintings. And uh, this is how I plan my work. In terms of painting style, I'm trying to create the, a nice mix between abstract and uh, abstraction and realism and uh, I guess it's a, it's a bloody challenge. So the first painting was this uh, smaller purple piece that I did um, just as I got back basically I finished this before the new year and as you can see once again the abstract slash realism style is what I'm going for. It was actually a study from a larger digi digital more detailed composition I guess a plan for a larger painting and I cut a section out of it and did a smaller painting as a study because one thing that I used to do, which was a mistake, was rush into large paintings too quickly without a lot of planning. So I ended up wasting a lot of materials and paint and whatnot on a larger painting, which I realized didn't work once I'd get like halfway through it or more because I realized the plan wasn't enough or it didn't translate as well. And sometimes you have to sit with work for a while to realize if it's kind of a good painting or not. My second piece is more of a medium-sized canvas. I would define it as medium size, And this one is called the firefighter or fireman, I don't know. Um, simply because the uh, digital kind of collage that I built up, which is the plan for this painting, was actually built on top of a photograph of firefighters putting out a fire, which is why you can see a kind of already smoky background. Um, but this one obviously I'm looking to build up abstract textures but control them and kind of look at realistic form and limbs and stuff and abstract everything in a funky kind of way. I'll also show you a cheeky work in progress at the moment which is the one you can see behind me or the better detail here. Um, this is actually a cut from one of Ruben's paintings. I've been kind of, uh, I like the idea of this or oh, the idea of contemporary reinterpretation of like past works. So this was kind of an abstract twist with abstract te textures and stuff built into this Rubens style portrait. So I'm not really speaking any concepts or I guess narration or context or whatever artist statement really, because um, yeah, I'm still kind of processing ideas, trying to work out exactly what I'm interested in when I'm starting to create the imagery because I tend to start with imagery and then kind of work out what my ideas and um, interests are after I make a work, if that makes sense. Um, it's kind of like, I realize I do play around with certain narrations 
uh, or narratives and concepts, but I kind of work out what they are afterwards and really try and question where my thoughts and actions are coming from when it comes to my artistic practice. So I'm kind of still investigating that, kind of looking into psychology, sense of the self, lots of different, con uh, I guess, fragments of different things <laughs> all mixed together. But um, I guess when you're doing academic reading or looking into the philosophy of something, the language and the depth of it can sometimes be quite intimidating. But I just, the way I see it is just, uh, just let it process for a while. And then once I visit something four, five, six times, it starts to, I guess, resonate, or I, I guess to, I, um, I guess I start to understand what it's actually saying. So I can define whether it's what I'm actually interested in, or if it's like, okay, no, this isn't, this isn't the thing I mean. So RCA students, my heart does go out with you or any other students who are, I guess, experiencing the uh, crap end of this pandemic when it comes to education. Um, I do hope that there are more colleges and universities out there that do offer some kind of reimbursement when it comes to the fees or they just go really out of their way to try and create more opportunities for you, um, whether that be, you know, holding extra exhibitions, trying to organize special events as a kind of way to make that particular COVID year more, um, I guess, more valuable to the students who did end up paying such a huge amount of fees. And to everyone else, if you're interested in seeing more of my work, you can follow me or DM me on Instagram to comment or ask questions or whatever, or do that in the comment section below. And as always, here is my awkward Goodbye.